Hello traders, Gary Wagner here just about one o'clock in Honolulu. It is Monday, March the 5th, 2018, and this is the Daily Report for Gold and Silver. Precious metals under moderate pressure today, with gold losing about $2.50. Basis most active, April's futures contract closed at $13.20.90. Silver down about $0.02, cents, closing at $16.44, and that's all with a fractionally higher U.S. dollar, up 0.6 points at $89.97. The big news was the incredible recovery in U.S. equities. Dow Jones Industrial Average trading off by more than 100 points this morning before we saw a key reversal and closed up 336 points at 24,874. Big news in Bitcoin futures with futures closing at 11,580, 11,570 collectively in the CME and the CBOE futures exchange. Traders, Although gold traded to a higher high when compared to Friday's action and a higher low, it did close nominally lower, closing off about $2.60 at thirteen twenty eighty. The market is still trading above the 38% retracement, exists at thirteen seventeen forty. However, what must be really noted is the fact that when we look at current pricing, we can see that the market opened just at the 50-day moving average, but closed below that. And it is that 50-day moving average to me that is so critical right now in determining whether or not gold pricing will re-enter some sort of a bullish stage. At this point, without a direct move above on a closing basis, the 50-day moving average, I have got to remain neutral to slightly bearish on the market. And although we saw very, very solid support last week as the market traded and tested this particular low at 1302, this of course was Tuesday's action when Jerome Powell spoke to the House. We haven't seen the kind of follow-through that is really indicative of a full-blown rally. In fact, we have alternating colors of red and green, meaning that over the last three trading days, the market has closed lower on two occasions, and the only day that we saw the market actually close higher was Friday's trading activity. Therefore, traders, my recommendation is to maintain our neutral stance. We have no active trades in gold. We would look to initiate a long position only after we saw gold close above the 50-day moving average. And traders, as far as silver is concerned, it is still exhibiting the characteristics of a market that is trading in a tight and defined range. This is a narrow range, and we do know that from past historical references that this is typically followed by some sort of a strong break to the upside or downside. We can see back in November, this, of course, is a break to the downside as we go into the end of 2017, beginning of 2018, which brings us to our next chart, which is a daily line chart of the gold-silver ratio, currently sitting at 80.29, which simply means that it takes approximately 80 ounces of silver to purchase one ounce of gold. We can see that this ratio has definitely been widening and since the beginning of this year, in which we had the gold-silver ratio trading at roughly 77, has increased by about three points. It is not until we convert this into a weekly chart that we can see that really what we are approaching is somewhat of a double top or a triple top, historically speaking, because we can only see two occasions really over the last 10 years when this ratio has been this high. One period, 2008 to 2009. The next period coming in at the end of 2015. Those are the only other occasions when the ratio has been higher than it currently is. This is certainly a point we could see on a technical basis, some resistance come into the market, but it would still need to head another three points higher before we challenge this particular price point on the gold-silver ratio. And traders, lastly, I do want to take a quick look at Bitcoin, with Bitcoin futures closing up about 5% today, gaining $565, closing at 11000 
580. We can see that reflected in this daily candlestick chart. We did get a gap open though from trading over the weekend of course as cash market continues to trade over the weekend and futures does not. I'll look to see if this is filled in on an intraday basis but the fact of the matter is is that it did close above the 38% retracement at 11,457 and now is roughly matching up to these recent tops here as well as this activity right in here. So the question is whether or not this particular price point will find some resistance in this area or if it will barrel straight through there. If in fact the market does begin to track higher and overcome any kind of technical resistance in this area, it clearly could be headed as high as 13,000 per coin. Traders, this is a fickle world that we live in when a proposal is made last week announcing the potential for tariffs on steel and aluminum and we have the public reacting negatively because of the possibility of a trade war. While nothing has changed over the weekends, it seems as though the traders as well as the investor mentality shifted immensely today as it discounted the possibility of a trade war and bid up equities. That risk on environment created some bearish sentiment for the precious metals and that's why I believe we saw a decline today in both gold and silver. This has been Gary Wagner wishing you as always good trading. We'll talk to you tomorrow for another daily update and review. Bye-bye.